The name on the transom of the plush 42-foot cabin cruiser, tied to a slip on Nevada's Lake Mead reads Jayhawker. But its owner, Milburn Stone, admits he goofed in naming of the craft. The craft has turned out to be Doc's Therapy. Milburn is the Doc of CBS TV's long-running Gunsmoke which goes into its 13th year next season after being cancelled by CBS on a Friday and suddenly, by the next Tuesday it was renewed. The cancellation news came as a shock to Jim Arness and Amanda Blake, but not to Milburn who says. Amanda was totally destroyed and Jim spent two hours talking to me about his future it was the most I've heard him talk in 12 years. I think I was more emotionally ready than either of them because I've been expecting a cancellation for the last four years. The Jayhawker, which should have been named Doc's Therapy, played a big part in Milburn's emotional readiness too he admits. Spring means the big bass are biting in Lake Mead and Milburn often wonders whether he prefers fishing to acting. He was aboard the boat when a phone call from Hollywood 300 miles away announced the news that CBS had renewed Gunsmoke for another season. Milburn's first reaction was a dog in it. Doggone what? Asked the puzzled Hollywood caller. Doggone it, Milburn said, I was ready to spend the next two months fishing, not working. He was, of course, delighted with Gensmoke's reprieve which came, he believes, because of an avalanche of public opinion which caused at least 60 TV stations to file protests with CBS. Looking back at 12 years in which he distinguished himself as one of the finest actors on any screen, Milburn marvels at what he calls the show's uniqueness. I think, he said, that Jim has turned into a classic Western hero and that in her role Amanda has walked a tightrope with pure genius. For the last five years, Ken Curtis has turned in some incredible performances. Add this to our stories, which are always believable, and you know the reason for the show's success. I'll never forget our very first pilot. As the marshal, Matt Dillon lost a gunfight and he couldn't wait for me to patch him up so he could track down the gunman.